this is quite sad for me i do have a free tier aws account and after quite some time i tried to log in and found that you know my account got suspended it is not because you know i did something wrong it is only because there were few charges and i didn't pay it out so I currently paid it out so you are not seeing anything over here so let me go to my billing section and show you you can see in October I got charged for dollar eleven point four two. that is equivalent to 941.86 INR so I paid it out if you look at the services for what services I got charged it is for plastic compute cloud for this particular reason, Asia Pacific reason, and you can see I have used Linux T2 micro instance for 750 hours. For that, I didn't get any charge, and I have used on-demand Linux T2 micro instance, and that is above. 738.31 hours and I got charged for 9.16 dollar for this. What are the other charges? I got charged for key management. Okay, and this is the GST collection. So total becomes here is the 11.42 dollars for that particular October. So let's move down for September. And you can see I got charged for six point four eight dollars. And what are the services for that I got charged? Let go down and look at the elastic container services for Kubernetes. Okay, I got charged for the Kubernetes services. Amazon Elastic Container Service Kubernetes Creation Operation. Okay, twenty three point. For four hours I utilized it and I got charged for virtual private cloud for this particular reason 2.65 dollars and GST collects. Okay. So let's move to August billing and I got charged for 6.03 dollars. And what are the services I have used? I got charged for root 53 okay and this is not DynamoDB this is the elastic compute cloud okay and the virtual private cloud so these are the services for that I got charged let me see for the July billing cycle and I got charged for dollar zero point one zero cents so as you can see i have paid out all my bills one by one and you can see in the transaction today itself i paid it all and it is near about two thousand indian rupees and i paid it out all and right now i am waiting for my account to get reactivated or get out from the suspended list so if i'm going to look at my home screen it is not going to load and nothing is happening if i'm going to you know open ec2 it is not going to happen you can see it is saying me amazon web services signing authentication failed because your account has been suspended if you believe your account was suspended due to non-payment of outstanding balance due to on your account, you can pay now using payment to reactivate your account. So I already paid it out, but still it is not activated yet. It will take five to six business days to get my account activated. So let's see. So guys, you can learn from me and here is the tips for you. If you're using AWS free tier account, you have signed in there as a free tier account, then please, please, please don't keep any resource running in your AWS account. Use as much as 
possible with the pre tier eligibility services only and terminate it after once you finished with your experiments or learning purpose. There were few resources which was running like I spent a few EC2 instance. I was working with Jenkins and Apps Wars and Kubernetes and I left it as it is running. Although I made it down for some time, but there was one lambda function which was always starting it and I forget to terminate it. So to avoid these kinds of billing and avoid the suspension of your account, please do not make any resource running without any purpose inside your AWS account and you can fully enjoy this you can fully learn this free tier service from aws side